So CPR, um, so the patients presented in front of you or they have had a cardiac arrest and the first thing that you need to do is check if there's any signs of life. So it's kind of a hello, can you hear me? Is there any response? If there's not, you go and make the call for the ambulance service and you ask for a defib or you call for help. You don't do anything with the patient until you have the ambulance on its way and help on its way. Then you do what's called a head tilt chin lift. So hand on the forehead and two fingers underneath the, the chin and you just tilt the head back. And when you lift the chin, you pull your tongue, which is connected to the bottom of your jaw, up out of your airway and you remove the epiglottis or the little flap of tissue that stops you swallowing the wrong way. You lift that up off the airway as well. So a head tilt chin lift. And you're just going to observe for any signs of life. And remember, not, a, not the agonal breaths. We're talking about real chest rise. 12 times per minute, maybe two in the 10 seconds that you're gonna listen for. There's no signs of life. I'll expose the bare skin. I want to get in towards the flesh and see what I'm doing. The heel of my hand and my middle finger across the nipple line into the center of the chest. Link my fingers, shoulders over the top and elbows locked straight. And then a compression rate of about 100 to 120 per minute and about five to six centimeters in depth. You'll keep doing that till the ambulance arrives. If it's a parent, if it's a family member, if you're comfortable, you can do mouth to mouth. And the way that goes is after every 30 compressions, so 28, 29, 30, head tilt, chin, chin lift, pinch the nose, breath, breath, and then back on the chest. So 30 to two, 30 to two. During COVID these days, we're not teaching mouth to mouth as such. It's generally all compressions. And once you start, you just keep going. When the defib arrives, open up the defib, switch it on. Adult patient. If Remove the, patient the pads. Is a child, press the child button. Tells you where they go on the chest. Remove clothing from so the patient's one on chest. The side here. Open packet and apply pads onto patient. Press pads firmly on skin. And one up under the white right collarbone. Do not touch the patient. It's analyzing the heart rhythm and it's going to decide whether it needs to shock the patient or not. Heart rhythm. Shock advised. It's telling me a shock is advised. Do not touch the patient. It's charging the unit. Everyone clear. The light's Press going to the flash here. Button. Flashing light. Clear the patient. Press no one touching the button. patient. Now. Shock. It's back shock to the chest. Delivered. CPR. And that's going to continue for another two minutes. And in two minutes' time, the defib is going to kick back into life. It'll tell you to take your hands off the patient. It will shock or it won't shock. And then you'll get back on the chest. But you never take your hands off the chest for any more than 10 seconds. So you're looking to keep the CPR going all of the time. It's most important that we build up pressure within the system and keep blood flowing to the, to the, uh, the tissue of the heart and the tissue of the brain. Um, so that's it guys, that's a quick one on CPR and defibrillation, um, thank you.